A packed theater and sold out showings. Crowds of people right here in the Low Country supporting the nationwide premiere of the Emanuel documentary and telling me that this day four years ago is one they'll never forget. For such ugly hate to happen, I don't think that can ever be forgotten. Those people can never be forgotten. As people waited in line at the Terrace Theater for tickets, popcorn, and to take their seats, tears already began to fill eyes as they reflected on the nine black churchgoers lost in the shooting at Emanuel AME Church. Um, I'm glad that they're being remembered. I'm glad that how Charleston stood together is being remembered too. The hour and 15 minute documentary features family members of the victims and survivors sharing their stories of grief and overcoming in the midst of loss. This message of forgiveness playing on every screen in the Terrace Theater tonight. Several months ago, I contacted the producer of the movie, told him how much he wanted to show the movie here. Uh, and through various negotiations, we were able to secure the movie. So what we've done is we originally were just gonna show the movie in the one theater. And what happened is the demand was so big, we opened another theater. Then the demand was so big, we opened another theater. So every single theater and every single seat. Proceeds from the documentary will go directly to the victims' families and the survivors of the horrific act of racism. The overwhelming support from the Low Country at the premiere proving once again that hate cannot sink a city that loves, and we are still Charleston Strong. If you weren't able to make it out to the Emanuel documentary tonight, you can still watch the film at select theaters around the Lowcountry on Wednesday night. For a list of those participating theaters, head over to our website, CountOn2.com. In James Island, Taylor Murray, CountOn2.